Hello friends and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about speed ramps. What is a speed ramp and how to use it in DaVinci Resolve? This is a tutorial for a beginner and I'm going to explain you from A to Z absolutely everything. What is a speed ramp? Let's go. Okay, so let's understand what a speed ramp is. So a speed ramp is when you want to speed up a clip or you want to slow it down or you want to uh, play it uh, normal in the same in the same clip. So the same clip can be played faster, slower, or at normal speed. This is what a speed ramp is. And in DaVinci Resolve, it's super easy and super satisfying to do it. So first things first, what you have to do, you either press uh, the right click on the mouse and go to Retime Controls, or you can press Command R and you'll be presented with this uh, Retime Controls. Now, if you want to add a um, a speed point, what you have to do, you have to put your playhead where you want your speed point to, to be added to. So let's say you want to speed up your clip from here till here. No problem. What you need to do, you need to go to this drop down arrow, right? Click on it and you will be presented with a lot of settings here, but we need to do, we need to add speed point. Add speed point, you want to add a speed point here and let's say from here you want to uh, speed it up until here no problem add another speed point and speed point good excellent so this actually does the the speed for you you see um oh here that's the speed that's the speed of of the clip to the left it changes the speed to the left right to the left so i'm changing the speed to this portion of the clip to the left and this one will change the speed of the clip to the left as well you see and if you want to do it here for instance if you want to do the speed on this side what you have to do come over here up here with the clip and you can do the same thing you see you can do the same thing don't go in the middle because in the middle you will be um, trimming the clip just go up here right left top corner and then you will be doing the speed. It's very important to understand this at the beginning, guys. Don't go too far if you didn't understand the basics. Now, so the down handle over here, it just, what it does, it shows you the clip, the length of the clip. You wanna go from here, or you wanna go from here. You see, because you don't have to remove this retime curve if you wanna start from here. No, you just grab this handle over here and you move it here and you'll be starting um, uh, the, the clip or you'll be starting the speed up from this point. If you wanna start from this point, no problem. Drag this handle to here and you'll be starting from here, you see? Pretty cool. Um, again, so the upper handle here, it does the speed for you and the down handle, it shows you where you want to start or to end um, the the speed ramp. I hope this is clear and I hope it makes sense, right? Now, let's start working on it now. Let's say I want this to be played at normal speed, this portion over here. What I need to do, uh, drop down arrow, I want this to be at 100%. Right, so this portion is at 100%, you see? It plays normal speed, and I want this portion over here to be played at a faster speed. What I need to do, just get the handle and drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it to the left. And you see, you see, you see here, it shows you the percentage, which is increasing to 225. Now this shows you that it's gonna be super fast. Let's play it. Whew. Boom, nice. Well, what I want to do, I want this clip to be to be a little longer, I want it to be a little longer, right? So I want it to be a little fast as well. So, right, so let's say almost 400%. Let's play it again, slowly, boom, super fast, and then goes to normal speed. But what I don't like here, you see this transition is a bit, is a bit chunky, is a bit abrupt. So I want it to make a bit smoother. Let's make this, this transition from normal to super fast a bit smoother. So how do you do it? It's actually very, very easy. For this, you need to 
right click with the mouse and go to retime curve, right? Just over here, retime curve. If you can't really see what's going on here, this is too big, you can't see uh, where this uh, retime points are, just go to here, you see the percentage, uh, this is zoomed in. So just zoom it out until you can see what's going on, right? Zoom, 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 zoom out, okay. So this is my uh, retime curve there. You see, uh, I wanna make it very, very smooth. And I want to go to this point and want to make it smooth as well. So let's get it, let's get it quite smooth, 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 smooth. All right. Okay, so this is the smoothest it goes for some reason. Okay. All right, let's try again. Okay, so this is the smoothest it goes. Let's try again. Okay, okay, that's nice. That's very, very, very nice. Um, maybe I wanna go a little bit further down like that and then try again to smooth it out. Here we are. So you see, it needs, um, it needs time to smooth out. So if this clip is very short, then obviously you won't have enough space to uh, to smooth it out so the clip needs to be quite long in order for it to work and to 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 smooth out so this is obviously um, a maximum maximum it goes see it's very sharp and it's smooth zoom uh, smooths out like that okay let's uh, let's play it and and see how, how it looks like right so this is normal and stops okay that's very nice uh, okay, let me just come back a little bit and do that. Because what I wanted to do, I wanted to slow down and still go a little bit because this clip s stops here. So what I want to do, I'm going to come to this side a little bit more like that. So slowly, very quick, and it slows down. When it slows down, I wanted to still go for a little bit let's try again slowly very quick and slows down that's much better that's actually much much better and uh, i think that's pretty much it so once again to recap go to the clip command r or right click uh, retime controls and you'll see all these retime controls uh, go to the drop down arrow you can add speed points you can change the speed and one um, a pretty cool thing, as I said, this, this handle's over here. This one uh, shows you the point in the clip. This one makes it faster or slower. This one on this side makes it faster and slower from the left. One important thing to notice uh, from this handles over here, everything works to the left. So you are affecting everything from the left. If you toggle this one, or if you move this one, you're affecting everything that's coming from the left. If you're doing it here, you're affecting everything that's on the left. Very important to notice that. One more important thing is, if you want to delete speed points, no problem. Go to the drop down over here, clear speed point. If you wanna clear this point, go to this over here and clear speed point. If you wanna reset everything, no problem. Just go to uh, the drop down arrow, anywhere really, anywhere really here and just do reset clip. Click reset clip and everything is done. If you want to hide this retime uh, controls over here, uh, what you have to do, you just have to press command R and they disappear. And if you'd like to see the final result of uh, my short promo of the video tripod that I shot, here it is. And this is it friends, I hope you found this video interesting and you got some value out of it and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you like what I do on this channel and if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Speed ramping is fabulous, is amazing, it really elevates your work and it makes your videos stand out, especially if you're doing a lot of b-roll and basically a lot of vlogging or anything. It's something really cool. It captures the attention of the viewer 
uh, big time. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and happy creation. Cheers. Bye-bye.